so appreciate it. We're going to move to closing out our task force um, in person in the southern region here. Um, first, uh, before I turn it over to, to Joe for his final comments, and then I'll close it out. I, again, want to thank all of the panelists. Thank you so much. I want to thank San Diego Zoo and Safari Park again. Thank you very much for this amazing venue that we've had. Um, RCD of Greater San Diego County, Southern California Forest Service, and CAL FIRE units that have all been a part of this, and our sponsors that I read out at first. They are on our website. They've been commented and been with us this whole time. Thank you very much for everything and all your support for this. Um, the staff, the volunteers, employees, task force, thank you. We could not do it without all of you and our AV equipment and everybody here too. So it takes a bit of this to put it on um, in an in-person one. So again, very much want to thank everybody for this. I'll turn over to Joe. All right. Uh, what a day. What a packed agenda with so much more we could have talked about in every one of the panels, whether it was the unique landscapes and challenges, the regional leadership panel, the cultural fire and indigenous stewardship panel, and then uh, our utilities panel as well here at the end. There's just a lot of uh, a lot of challenges still, a lot of obstacles, but again, this goes back to partnerships and being able to come together to overcome those challenges uh, to move forward. I too wanna thank everybody that has been involved in setting this up. It was a great venue, I believe, uh, and uh, the work that's been done, those that are online, thank you for joining us in that forum as well. Thank you to the executive committee in which I normally sit in the absence of uh, Secretary Crowfoot. So uh, with that, I'll turn it back to you. Great. Again, at virtual attendance audience, thank you also. Everybody, for more information, please uh, go to our website um, that we have it. We have all of that. Patrick, did you want to say yeah, something? Just, uh, just yeah. sorry, just a couple yeah. of quick okay. comments on next steps for us. Oh, um, nice. First, for Southern California, as we said a year ago, we came to learn and listen. This year, the theme was all about partners and partnerships across the board. Our next phase, as I think Carolyn put it so well, is how do we develop, how do we institutionalize collaboration? So we're gonna be thinking about that over the next six months to a year. Answer to Tom's question, we are planning to look at organizational options to make the task force more permanent. And we're also starting to talk to our Southern California partners about the need for some kind of a regional convening group as well. We heard from lots of people here, there used to be one, maybe we can help uh, local partners bring that up, uh, bring that back. And then finally, our June meeting. Um, speaking of institutionalizing partnerships, as budgets are shrinking, we're gonna use that as an opportunity to get agencies to partner more, particularly on funding. So we're gonna we're gonna come back with a whole bunch of ideas about how we can better leverage state and federal money, uh, how the state agencies can work together. Just recently, Cal Fire put together joint grant guidelines for their forest health and their their fire prevention uh, grant programs. That may not sound like a big deal to many of you, unless you're a, a government insider, but it was a big deal, and we're thinking about the extent to which we can expand that to more state agencies. So as we move to an era of shrinking budgets, it's really gonna be important for our agency to align better um, than ever before. So that's gonna be the key focus of our June meetings. I hope you'll all join us. We're, we're in the process of moving the date for those of you who already have it on your calendar. So stay tuned, uh, but we'll get back to you soon on that. Patrick, thanks for that. Um, so we're gonna end the live stream. And I'll say from for myself, you know, uh, today was such a wonderful opportunity of learning how far we've come and how far we need to go. We got a mirror that was held up to us. And many of the panels, I'll say for me, from a federal agency, some of it's not pretty, folks. You know, some of it is amazing. We were able to see ourselves reflected back and we've got some work to do. And I also want to celebrate the work that we have done because we've come a long way, but we still have the ways to go. So I wanna thank everybody for their, for their presence here and being here with us, and then being able to think about how we move forward. And it was a reminder that I am always a student and I need to continue to learn. And I'm gonna say on behalf of my agency, we're students as well. So we need to continue to learn. 
And this is a great start as we keep moving forward together. And then I'll just say our power comes from working together. And I think that was such uh, a message throughout everything. That's where our power collectively comes from. So with that, I'm closing out. Remind everybody, please watch your email because if there are cancellations or changes for tomorrow's field trips, that's where you will find that out. So looking forward, everybody. Thank you for being here in person. Enjoy the rest of the park. It is open until seven o'clock and I will see you next time coming live from Sacramento. All right. Thanks everybody.